Hello again, this is Christopher Owasanya, and we're going to do a slightly different video from the last four we did. Today we're going to look at the components that make up a, an installation. So let's start with the biggest one. Everybody calls it an inverter, it's actually a converter. It takes DC and turns it to AC, and then it takes AC and turns it back to DC. Your house runs on AC. The batteries store DC, which is direct current. So what this does is it converts the energy stored in your batteries and then turns it into energy you could use in your house to power your appliances like your refrigerator, your lights, your computers, your fans. That's what it does. Um, these are your batteries. Uh, we have 6 volt batteries for renewable energy application. Your best bet are always 6 volts or 2 volt batteries. 12 volts are not really suited for renewable energy applications. As you can see, we have some protection. There is a fuse between our battery and our inverter. There is also a, a disconnect that lets us turn off the inverter if we need to service it. This fuse would trip if an unusual load tries to go through the batteries from the inverter. Um, there's another fuse, this is a cable for a charge controller, as you can see this is an act a circuit breaker and it's a 63 amp circuit breaker for a 60 amp charge controller. Now here is a charge controller, what this does is it takes the energy that comes from the panels and it uses it to charge our batteries, so it manages uh, our state of charge, how fast your batteries can get charged and it also shows you how much energy you're producing on any given day, so that's our charge controller. And as you can see, it's currently producing 660, 610 watts out of our 1 kilowatt in panels. And then here is our combiner box. Now, this combiner box does a lot of things. All the, all the stuff that comes from the roof, which is our panels, go through here. We have circuit breaker, oh, sorry, we have uh, fuses. These are 32 amp fuses and we also have um, our surge protection and what this does is you know god forbid you get hit by lightning or you have unusual amount of energy coming through uh, that can take care of it instead of letting it come into our system as you can see over here we have a breaker that lets us shut everything down so i'll go outside and i'll show you the other parts of the component that you need now the installation i just showed you a minute ago is the one what i do is i take it apart a lot and put it back together so each time we have a new uh, device we test it here that's why our wiring is not permanent uh, this is our ground wire um, the ground the, you have to have ground protection so or earth as you people call it our ground wire is here and these are the wires that come into the house as you can see it's been removed and put back a couple of times we test different panels um, we test different components so it's always in a in a temporary state eventually it's going to get moved and housed in a this enclosure here which we're going to build up so that there will be nothing inside the house and then this is how we're connected to Nepal so it's connected into a changeover and then the changeover uh, comes into the house now I'm going to take you to the roof of the house so you could see the panels so now I've climbed onto the roof of the house as you can see those are our panels there are four of them and they are 250 watt rain solar panels okay they are correct, connect, connected in series and parallel so these two are connected to give us um, 60 some odd volts and the other two are connected to give us 60 some odd volts I run four wires down if you remember what I showed you and that goes into that combiner box that is downstairs as you can see it's pretty high take a look I'm terrified of heights, but I had to do this so you could see what's, what's involved. So, as I explained, the components that make up your system are your panels, of which I have for 1 kilowatt, uh, my 3 kilowatt converter, or inverter as you call it, with a 70 amp charger, my batteries, and my charge controller. And then you could see the ground. Uh, there is a rack here actually. It's sitting on a rack, it's not sitting directly on the roof. Let me get a little closer so you can see it. And then we have our, you can see the end of it. We have um, the earth rod, which is for grounding. We have our combiner box for lightning protection, surge protection, and also 
for us to be able to turn the power coming from the panels down into the house. So these panels are sending, well, right now it's sending somewhere between 600 and 700 watts into the house and it's producing about 63, 64 volts. So that's it in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. Again, it's Christopher Wasano.